What's up, guys? This is James White with Freak Interviews, bringing you as seen on TV product, gadget reviews, and more. So, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so for more videos like this. Now, today I've got Invincible, which is an as seen on TV spray cleaner that supposedly eliminates stains quickly. It's named after Vince Offer, the pitch man for the product, but does it really work? Let's find out in today's review. Quick overview here, you've got four pouches of the Invincible Cleaner. And you've got this bottle that supposedly allows you to spray from any angle, even upside down. So that should be interesting to see how that works. I'm looking over the box here, and I don't really see what the ingredients are. There's a lot of warnings though. What's weird is here it says use it within eight hours, but down here it says use it within six hours. So, and there's also, like I said, it says don't get in your, in, your, in your eyes, your skin, but in the commercial he's touching it with his skin, so I don't know what's in here. I don't, I don't see anywhere what's, what this is made out of, which is a little bit disconcerting, but I guess we're just gonna have to take one for the team and see how it actually goes. It does say there's no phosphates. It says it's chlorine free. There are three ways of using it. There's for stain fighting, for general cleaning, and for laundry. So it seems like you ha you're supposed to use it in a warm bottle of water and results seem to be best within eight hours of use. For general cleaning, they say use half a pouch. For stain fighting, a full pouch. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna go try out some stain fighting. Let's do that. Invincible is named after Vince Offer, the guy who's in the commercials. He's all an on TV pitch man. Now, one of the demonstrations he does is he puts a beet, some iodine, and some spaghetti sauce on his shirt. So I kind of duplicated that. I put beets, iodine, and ketchup on there. I didn't have spaghetti sauce to open. I didn't want to waste it. He also does one with a white dress with some juice. So I'm going to do the same white shirt with some juice and some wine to get some different colors on there. So here's how that went. All right, I've got some beets here. He did one big one, I'm gonna do a couple small ones. Oh yeah, that's kind of similar. Get a real juicy one. How's that look, good? Now I, didn't, I couldn't find an iodine dropper, so I have an iodine spray, it should be close enough. Oh yeah, oh look at that. And then he had spaghetti sauce with his fingers, I'm gonna put some ketchup. It's pretty close. I think it's pretty close to what he shows in the commercial. He did 12 squirts of this, and then he just wiped it off with his hand. All right. Okay, he said, bring the camera in here, guys. Get a close up. This is what he did. Well, I mean, it's close. Let me try a little bit more. Yeah, you know what? Actually, the beat came off mostly. The iodine and actually the ketchup seems like it's the biggest problem. What do you guys think about that? Is that a success or not? What about cameraman? What do you cameraman think? I mean, it did a lot better than I was expecting. It did? I would say it did. Maybe it was not 100%. That's kind of surprising. Let me try the juice now. All right, so I've got kind of like a lighter red juice and a darker red wine. Let's try. I'm going to put them both on the side here. Something like that. That's good. That's, that's pretty good. It's like, it's like, oh, shit. Whoa. All right, I've sprayed quite a bit on here. I'm gonna try rubbing that in. I mean, I'm not as convinced on the juice. I'm not as convinced. Convinced? I'm not as, I'm not as convinced about, I mean, this one, this one was pretty good. The juice and the wine, maybe not, not, well, maybe not so bad. Look, it's kind of going away. I, I don't think, it might be kind of a bit of a parlor trick on the commercial to do this. I always hate when they, obviously on TV commercials have these demonstrations that aren't really realistic. I don't think that's realistic. This is not how you're gonna really use it. You're not gonna dump stuff on your shirt. 
and spray it. We're gonna, you're gonna use it inside for stains, so let's go inside and try that. All right, next up I wanted to try some baseboards with some stains from my dog Bailey. Here's what happened there. This is a stain on my wall that I always have to clean because this is where Bailey sleeps at night because she looks over at my bed right there. When she gets up against this wall, I have to clean this every so often. The baseboard gets dirty, the wall gets dirty because she's up against it. So let's see how this works. It says six to 12 inches. The instructions say not to press hard when you're wiping it off to use it to dab it with a cloth. So I got one. Let's try it. I didn't expect that. Let me try over here too. Well, without wiping it, I mean, it does seem like it's taking the dirt off. Of course, now I get that. That's not good. Let me just dab this lightly. They say not to press hard. Kind of lightly wiping, which seems to be working pretty well. It's taking it off really good. Hey, look. I mean, I barely touched it and it, it was coming off. Watch. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of just wiping, barely touching it. And it's coming right off. Hey, I, I'm liking this. In fact, down there, look, that's just from it dripping down from below. Let me spray that. Well, I'm not really dabbing like they say, but it definitely is coming to clean. Let's see the difference before and after. And over here, you can see where I wiped it off at. If I had to scrub, I wouldn't be so impressed, but I'm impressed because I'm barely wiping it. I'm happy with that result. I didn't go overboard trying to clean it, but that test, I think, was pretty good. All right, one more thing. There's this air vent here that has the seal that goes in there. It keeps falling out. I have to keep putting it in there. So I moved outside. I did a table and some stucco because they show some stucco in the commercial as well. I thought that the results were pretty good, but I had to wipe it off. It didn't just magically disappear like they show in the commercial. So check this out. All right, this table I have outside has all kinds of stains on it. Let me try a few stains on this one. I mean, the commercial just shows it just sitting there and disappearing. It looks like I'm gonna have to wipe that off. While that's sitting, I've got some stucco over here. That's pretty dirty stucco. They were showing some stucco just like this on the commercial. Now the commercial shows everything just kind of disappearing and I'm not, I'm not seeing that. It's working, but I'm having to wipe it off. Plus the other thing is that it keeps leaking out of there. So my hand is always covered in this liquid. I don't even know what's in there because there's nothing in the ingredients. Don't like that. I don't like that it's not disappearing like it shows in commercial, and I don't like that you have to use all of it. But it seems like it's working pretty well otherwise. I'll let, set, let that sit and then go back to the table. I'm just lightly rubbing this, just lightly scrubbing. It is coming out. I mean, I'm gonna have to spray more to get, now I have like a ring in there. Oh, that's actually coming off. It's coming off. Can you see that right there? That came right off. All right, I'm in the shower. I've got a fresh batch made because it's been a, it's a new day now. Now in the commercial, they show some shower tile. Here's some clean tile. And they show some kind of like this in three seconds being cleaned up. Let me see if that works. Here we go, three seconds. How about here, three seconds. Yeah, I mean, it's not three seconds. What I'm going to do is wipe one down now and let one sit, and I'll see if that makes a difference. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this one off. I mean, I'm actually scrubbing it. I mean, I make it, I'm making a difference. So I really think that that, that improved it a little bit but I did have to scrub it. I'll let this sit for a little while before I wipe it off and see if that makes a difference over just wiping it right off. I'm also gonna try a few of these stains and let it sit on these as well. I'm gonna let that sit instead of just wiping it right off and see if there's a big difference. Here's a table from last night. Here's the bench with those stains. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for a little while, maybe a half an hour to an hour 
and see if it looks better than when I just wiped it right off. All right, it's been at least a half an hour. Let me see if this comes off. Pretty good. Another shower. I um, don't think it really worked much better. I'm not sure this is the ideal use for it. All right, so other than just filming here, I've been using Invincible around my house. I found that it works really well getting dirt and scuff marks off of my painted walls. That's one of the best cleaners I found for that. Uh, it seems kind of hit or miss. The shower was not so great. Table was pretty good. Stucco was pretty good. It seems like its use, usefulness varies depending on what you're doing with it. But I would suggest if you're going to get it to only use half of a pouch because then you would get eight uses out of it because you can't store it. So once after eight hours, it's kind of it's kind of useless. So I would use half a pouch to get eight uses out of it. They also say you can use it for laundry. I wouldn't do that because you only get four small pouches. I would just go buy a big thing of OxyClean, which is going to work probably just as well. Well, even though I'm not sure what's in there yet, um, there really isn't much of a smell. I haven't noticed a smell in there. Even in the shower, I didn't really smell much. But when I get it on my hands, it seems like my hands dry out. So, so if you're worried about that, that's something to consider. Also, I've got one pouch left. I'm going to hold on to it. So I would invite your suggestions of what other things I could try with it for my update in a few months. So I'll check the comments here and I'll probably even ask in my next live stream about what suggestions you want for other things I should try Invincible with for my update. So in the end, I think that the Invincible spray has some pros and cons worth mentioning. The pros are that it actually is a very good stain remover and cleaner. I actually think it works pretty well. I also like that they give you four packets, which is quite a bit. So I think that in that case, it does pretty well. Uh, one more pro also is that this, uh, the bottle does actually spray upside down because as you can see, this kind of follows the liquid. Although it does leak out of there when, when you turn it upside down, so that defeats the purpose. I think I just got it on my hands. Here's some of the cons though. My biggest con is that you can't just fill the bottle up and use it when you want. You're supposed to use it within eight hours and then toss it. So that really kind of limits you on how long you're going to make this last. It definitely doesn't work like the demonstrations. It doesn't magically disappear. I think the parlor trick on the shirt, I couldn't duplicate that. So I don't know if that's going to be a realistic way to use it. I don't think most people would do that anyways. Another con is that they don't say what's in here. I couldn't find the ingredients anywhere. And the fact that it kept leaking on my hands, it's kind of disturbing because I don't know what I'm getting on my hands. So that's another potential con that not everybody's gonna like. If I do find out the ingredients, I'll put them in the description below because right now I haven't found out what they are. So if you leave the advertising hype at the doorstep and just are looking for a good stain remover and cleaner, I think Invincible does pretty well. If you're looking for something that's magical that the stains are gonna just completely dissolve on their own, maybe not. I think it's pretty good, maybe not as good as the advertising makes it seem, but I think if you buy it, you'll be pretty happy with it. Just expect to have to dab it and wipe it off a little bit. Don't expect them to disappear on their own. Have you used the Invincible Cleaner or something like it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.